There are many ways of covering ground. You can be conventional and use four wheels. There's nothing wrong with this. You'll have lots of company. Or you can relive palmier days, like this. Only a good horse is hard to find. On the other hand, you may prefer the simplicity of two wheels. Of course, you put more in than you get out. But by replacing muscle power with horsepower, you can ride a Honda, conserve your energy, and enjoy the fun, freedom, and economy of two wheels. A Honda is easy to ride. 200 miles to the gallon. And a Honda costs less to own than a good set of golf clubs. You'll have a lot of fun riding a Honda. Of course, if you must have four wheels. How about another Honda? gentlemen and welcome back to barely moving I say ladies but according to my YouTube statistics there's none out there so it's just you gentlemen hello good to have you you join me here on an absolutely beautiful day in sunny South Shields yes Sun the Sun has prevailed in Northern England we thought it did not exist it does well, in my last video, I conquered the Lake District on my Nifty 50, but I have some sad news for you all. It's gone. I've sold it. Why did you do that, Lewis? Well, as I matured, yes, I have matured. I have a mustache now. As I matured, I needed something bigger. I was a bit tired of going so slow. It was fun, but I need something more powerful. So, ladies and gentlemen, what have I gone for? Yes, I've gone for a Nifty 90. Yes, it is. looks exactly the same as my Nifty 50. It's even the same colour. But this is the far superior 90cc version, capable of a top speed of 55 miles an hour. Yes, the speedo reflects that in kilometres. It can go all the way up to 80 kilometres an hour on the speedo. So yes, this is my 2002 Honda C90 Super Cub, fresh from Japan. Yes, she is a looker as good as my 50 was, but also with the added power, she makes a good uh, traveling companion. So we have more or less the same setup as my Nifty 50. This is the 2002 model, so there are some, well there's only one minor difference, other than this is a 90cc single cylinder engine, where my other one was a 50cc. This one is the 2002 and you were able to turn the lights on and off. Must have been a safety feature with the 2005 where they always had to be on. But a few changes I've made to this bike are it came with some horrid plastic headlights where, and also plastic indicators, whereas I have now upgraded them to the far superior metal chrome and glass model and also some metal indicators for that classy, classic look. Now what wasn't so good on this bike when I got it was the chrome work, unfortunately. It was a bit tired, a bit rusty, so what I've done is I've completely replaced it. Yes, I've got all new chrome on here. Makes it basically look like a brand new bike. The wheels aren't in that bad condition. And I also got a new rack as well, so no cro no rust underneath there. So basically I'm going chrome, chrome, chrome. The only thing I wasn't able to replace was the front rack, which is actually out of stock, but I'll probably get that re-chromed at some point as that's looking a bit pitted and tired. So you are probably wondering, Lewis, is there a major difference? Well, yes, there is. It's the same setup, same three-speed gearbox, centrifugal clutch and brakes, accelerate. It's all box standard the same, but man, is it much faster than my 50. It's 40 cc difference. It's nearly double the size of the engine. But yes, it accelerates much easier because uh, I'm not the smallest person in the world. Uh, probably not the size of an average Japanese person but it just accelerates that much easier. So I'm ready to conquer those mountains on my next trip. Now you may be asking yourselves, but Lewis, I've seen another bike in the video. What's going on there? That's not the same bike you just showed me. And you're right, it's not. I've bought another Honda C90. 
Yes, a Honda C90D straight from Japan. D meaning deluxe. So this was kindly sold to me by my neighbor a few doors up. He actually originally got this on eBay uh, after he's seen me with my Nifty 50, the old Nifty 50, uh, but he just wasn't using it. So he kindly offered to sell it to me and I gladly accepted. Now I have a whole pack of Honda Super Cubs. So what, is this, what makes this the deluxe version? Well, it has, you're never gonna believe this, a fuel gauge where you can see it. Yes, so the Japanese standard businessman would not have to look under his seat to see if he ran out. It also has electric ignition. Yes, the luxury, can't believe it. So it's pretty good. Yes, this is 2007 and it is absolutely immaculate. I mean, so it's 2007, so the lights are always on with the ignition and get this. We have an indica indicator tone to let us know that we're actually indicating. So some differences on this which aren't stock is the bench seat. So this was a Japanese standard one, so it was similar to my old fashioned looking Honda Cub over there where it was a single seat and a rack on the back. So my neighbour John has turned this into a bench seat which was more of the normal here. Uh, he has also put on upgraded rear suspension for a comfier ride for those long journeys. We have an extra rack in the middle with a bit of chrome trim there, which is nice. A very fetching Honda wing badge, which is there and also on the other side, which I actually really like. And I've actually bought a couple for that one over there. Also, we've got some nice chrome mirrors, which look very good on the bike. So this is 2007 and get this, it only has 6,500 kilometers on it. So it's basically brand new and not even been run in. Very nice. Oh yes, and since this isn't a 50cc, it has pillion passenger foot pegs. So here we have the luxuriousness of a bench seat, so a pillion passenger could sit on that one. But on this one, we have the bog standard rack and pillion passenger foot pegs. So you'd end up having quite a sore backside on this one. So as we have the bikes out and it was such a lovely day, we decided to have a leisurely ride to the coast on these nifty 90s. Now you can see in the footage, I'm riding the bog standard C90. It's my favorite, good color. While dad is on the deluxe model. Oh yes, the deluxe model. Now, it's apparent almost immediately the difference between the 90cc and the 50cc Cub. Where my comfortable cruising speed used to be 35 miles per hour, it's now a face bending 45 to 50 miles per hour. A significant improvement indeed. Even though the speed difference isn't a crazy amount, the torque is so much better. When the 50 would reach an incline, I'd slow down to 15 or even 10 miles per hour and that's not the sort of thing you want to do on a dual carriageway but now it's a tortoise beating 30 miles per hour so i'll get up those hills a bit quicker so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed that if you have please smash that like and subscribe button as it really helps the channel and don't forget to leave a comment because i do enjoy reading all your experiences Next time I'll be venturing out on the C90 Deluxe up to Holy Island in Northumberland. So that's going to be a great trip. So don't miss it and I'll see you guys later. Bye!